This presentation outlines the procedure for creating a digital cinema package from a QuickTime source file. CubeMaster Pro's workflow is based on the DCI object model of track files, reels, and compositions. So the workflow involves first creating individual track files for each of the image, sound, and subtitle source files, and then combining these into reels and compositions. Track files can be created from a variety of sources, including QuickTime files, image sequences, stereoscopic image sequences, multi-file audio sources, or even convert text files into DCI-compliant subtitles. CubeMaster Pro is one of the few software that can perform this conversion. To create a new track file from a QuickTime source, select New Track File, browse to the location of the MOV file, and you're done. This new track file is then dragged into the Reels pane to create a reel, which can be named appropriately, previewed using the Reel Trim window, and if required, the original file may also be edited by adding in and out points to remove portions of the clip that are no longer required in the final digital cinema package. The playback window may also be resized to play full screen. The reel is then dragged into the composition pane to create a composition. Now, right-click this composition and choose the Encode option to bring up the encoder window. It is at this stage that the source file will be converted into a JPEG 2000 MXF file. Use the Settings options to change the data rate of the encoded file and also to check whether the aspect ratio and frame rate are according to DCI specifications. If any adjustments need to be made, use the appropriate pre-processing filter. For example, use the geometry filter to resize, crop, or pad the source to fit the correct aspect ratio specified by DCI, either flat or scope. Use the color space conversion filter to convert the color space from source RGB to DCI XYZ. The color space of a QuickTime file is normally REC709. Once all the required filters have been added, you may then encode. CubeMaster Pro's encoding speeds are entirely dependent on the CPU configuration of the host computer. The more CPU cores, faster the encoding speed. In this case, the encoding speed is extremely slow. Once the composition has been encoded and the MXF files created, the next step is to package the encoded composition. Before you create a package, ensure that you have selected the correct composition and the reels are in the correct order. You may preview the composition at this stage to ensure that everything is as expected. Double click the encoded composition and change the aspect ratio to match the aspect ratio of the final DCP. You must also add other metadata details about the type of composition, the country and language at this stage. Now, right click to select the package option. Browse to the location where you intend to save your completed digital cinema package, preferably a new folder. Name the package 
and check to ensure that the right assets have been included in the package. You may edit the name of the CPL if required at this stage. Packaging involves copying the MXF files from their current location to the newly specified location and adding the metadata files. A completed DCP must contain at least one image MXF, one audio MXF, and the four metadata files, cpl.xml, pkl.xml, asset map, and vol index. All the files in this folder must now be copied to the distribution drive to be sent to the theater for exhibition. If you had encrypted your DCP, you will now also need to generate a KDM. Before you generate a KDM, you will need to have the receiver certificate for the servers to which you intend to send your DCP. This KDM is small enough to be sent via email to the exhibition venue. Thank you for watching. Do consider browsing our other video tutorials for CubeMaster Pro. Bye-bye.